Hello, I'm Wayne Visser. I'm director of CSR International, and I'm here today in Mumbai with uh, Anurag Gupta, who's uh, founder of A Little World, and he's an innovator in uh, the rural space here in, in India. Welcome. Um, to start off with, can you just give us a little idea of how you came to do what you're doing? You started off as an architect, and now you're in a sort of IT innovation space. Uh, I started off as an architect uh, in the mid-80s and I switched to working in villages as an architect or a barefoot architect. Uh, worked in the earthquake uh, affected areas of Latur in uh, Maharashtra and stayed in villages for quite a while and started this enterprise uh, in the year 2000 with the intent of uh, creating a viable method for banking and payments in villages. And we have been helped by banks who have also uh, had a common objective uh, and have allowed us to first provide pilot demonstrations and then commercial implementation of uh, our products. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about this banking and how you're innovating uh, in order to make it accessible to uh, poor uh, village people? Uh, we are running uh, micro bank branches uh, in villages uh, which allow people to open bank accounts and to use those bank accounts to deposit money, to withdraw money to transfer money, to take small loans, uh, etc. And this is done through a technology-enabled uh, system where biometrics are used, that means fingerprints are used for authenticating the customer. We don't use PIN or signatures. All customers uh, have an access to their accounts using their own fingerprints, so they feel very uh, secure about this. We also allow uh, small loans to be taken via the bank uh, through these uh, systems. We manage uh, the return of money on those loans uh, as well on behalf of the banks. So as of now, we run about uh, 11,000 such uh, micro banks across the country. We cover all the states of the country uh, right now. Uh, we have approximately five and a half million customers who we have registered uh, for these accounts. And these are simple uh, accounts which have a maximum limit of uh, 50,000 rupees or a thousand dollars of uh, deposit that can be kept in them. Uh, these accounts cannot transact for more than $200 or 10,000 rupees uh, for a single transaction. And they cannot have a turnover of more than 200,000 rupees, which is about $4,000 uh, uh, in a year. But within these restrictions, these uh, accounts can be opened for anybody. We do not need any specific documentation to open such a low value account for anyone. So we work under the norms of relaxed KYC or relax know your customer norms for banking and without any proof of address or proof of uh, residence being absolutely essential these low value accounts uh, can be open for people as long as they present their fingerprints allow us to take their photograph and declare on a written form under their own signature that they live at this particular address. Now one of the innovations in, in this is your use of um, mobile phone technology as an enabler. Can you tell us how that works? Uh, we have from the very beginning uh, since the last five years uh, used uh, NFC mobile phones uh, as a branch of a bank in a village. So within that mobile phone which contains some additional security courtesy the NFC chipset that is present there. Uh, that phone is capable of being used as a branch for multiple banks because of the additional security. Within the phone, we keep the database of uh, the branch of that village. So up to 50,000 customers' records can be maintained uh, on a single uh, mobile phone device, which contains the fingerprint data, the photographs, and account history of those customers for up to a period of five years. So this is literally a core banking branch uh, of a bank sitting inside a phone. And along with the phone, we have a peripheral device that uh, provides a printer and a fingerprint scanner as two essential services for authentication and for giving receipts to customers. Now when you talk about a, a micro bank, I'm not sure people have a sense of the scale of this, so uh, you know, what does it cost to set up, how many people do you need to run it? Uh, our micro banks are run by, uh, by one person and that person is usually a woman. 98% of our bank branches, which is 11,000 of them, are uh, run by uh, women entrepreneurs uh, from the same village. Uh, we select uh, these people based on uh, their being living in that village for at least a couple of years, having a reasonable uh, reputation for being honest and uh, 
having the ability to uh, interact with people with a certain degree of confidence, some ability to uh, add up numbers. So it's, it's not a very large qualification. We usually take women who have a 10th standard, uh, up to a 10th standard education at least. More than that is okay, but less than that is uh, not okay. And we find such women uh, willing to do this work in the village. And they work out of their house and they put up a board of the bank. So it will say State Bank of India, tiny branch uh, outside their house. And it's an augmentation of their social status as well. And they're very happy to do this work. They earn some money as well outside. Now, your vision for the company is to use the branch network actually as a distribution network for a wider set of innovative products that meet the social needs. Can you say a bit more about what you have planned? Uh, we want to run these branches at as low a cost as possible to the banking system because we see the banking system uh, primarily as an enabler uh, for a lot more things uh, to happen. So we don't want to burden the banking system with large costs here which would uh, cripple its ability to scale this system. So we are able to run these branches for less than about $85 uh, a month. That's the overall cost for us to run these branches and uh, to recover that money we are uh, able to perform our obligations if we charge the customers as little as 10 cents or 5 rupees uh, a month for unlimited services of deposits, withdrawals, uh, etc. So once this gets set in as a practice, uh, and about 1,000 to 1,500 people we see registering for these accounts in every location that we go to, we want to bring to those people uh, a loan product, which is something like an overdraft uh, product, which allows them to buy uh, things that they need or to buy insurance products that they can benefit from, or to get uh, assisted in case of extreme emergencies. So these products that we are talking about can be small household assets like a LED light to replace a polluting kerosene lamp. Uh, they can be uh, enhancements to their stoves which are used to cook using wood or uh, cow dung uh, as a fuel. So we are providing uh, an innovative product that provides a fan which assists the person in making this store much more uh, efficient. It halves the cooking time, halves the use of uh, wood that is required and almost eliminates the smoke. We are also providing options for uh, water filters to be purchased and things like bicycles, television sets, uh, radios, spectacles, medicines, those post come under emergencies, textbooks. So these are uh, things that people need but do not end up buying because they don't have the capital. So we divide the cost into equated uh, weekly installments for six months, a year, 18 months or two years, depending on what the product is like. One exception being toilets, where uh, we will provide uh, through the banking system loans for toilets uh, for a longer period of time, for maybe five or even 10 years, so that a family can get a toilet for itself in the village or as a community resource uh, by paying not more than about 20 rupees a month. Okay. That's about say 40 cents a So finally then, uh, what's the vision for this in the future? What sort of time scale are we talking about to scale up? Uh, to what sort of scale and uh, um, over what time period? Uh, scaling up requires capital. So right now we are constrained for uh, capital and uh, we are talking to several people to raise this capital. We are trying to raise about 60 million dollars to finance the activity of scaling up to almost uh, 150,000 locations in India over the next uh, two to three years time. We are currently at about 11,000 locations, so we are still very far off uh, from that number, but the scale is beginning to rise very rapidly. The mandates are there from uh, very large banks uh, in the country, such as State Bank of India. And on the strength of those mandates, uh, we believe we would be able to raise this money and uh, achieve the kind of scale that nobody has seen before in this area. We expect to be the largest uh, micro branch or micro banking system in the world uh, within the next six months time. And we hope to reach the number of about 100,000 uh, by the end of the next calendar year. Well, it's fantastic and it's been a real privilege to uh, spend some time with you. Thanks very much. Thank you.